This video is all about the Moza Mini S for smartphones. Inside with the paperwork you'll get a few stickers. You'll also get the owner's manual. You'll also get a micro USB cord that has a auxiliary port jack on the other side. It charges via USB type C. You'll get this plush microfiber case. This mini gimbal stand screws right on the bottom of the device and allows it to stand up freely on its own. And when setting it up, you're going to release this little tab on the side here, which allows you to spin the gimbal arm straight up and lock back into place. You can then install your phone and set it up on the table next to you. When taking it apart, this gimbal arm locks into place here. One thing to note, GoPros do not fit into this. I tried it with a case, I've tried several different options and nothing works and it does throw off the balance of the device. So once your phone is installed, you do have a pretty large range of motion. It doesn't go 360 degrees, but you can go back and forth pretty freely. You can point it straight up and down and pairs almost instantly with the Moza app. And then once you're in the app, you can change your frame rate, add filters, grids, go into live streaming, photo mode. Uh, it's a pretty intuitive app. Taking the gimbal outside, these were all shot on the iPhone with the gimbal. No stabilization included. This is me running at full speed, and I thought it handled pretty well. Again, some more gimbal shots. And then I actually put it on the ground and drove the car around. And it stays very stable, there's no jittering at all. The next feature that I thought was really cool was this follow me mode. Uh, you can circle pretty much anything, and I had a screen grab of my phone, but as you can see, it followed the car almost to the T. This is the actual footage. Even with fast movements, it kept up. For 80 bucks, I think this is a great option for iPhones, especially with the included app. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow me on all social media at JLazMedia. Thanks.